graphing inequalities on a number line. To review, our symbols are less than, less than or equal to, greater than, and greater than or equal to. So for less than and less than or equal to, for less than we have an open circle that's going to be shaded to the left on our number line. Less than or equal to is going to have a closed end circle also shaded to the left. Greater than is an open circle but shaded to the right and greater than or equal to is going to be a shaded end circle and shaded to the right on our number line. Let's look at some examples. X is greater than negative 1. So my circle is going to go on negative 1 and since it has to be greater than negative 1, negative 1 cannot be included in our solution set. So I can shade everything to the right of negative 1 on our number line, which means 0 could be included, 1, 2, and so on and so forth. Anything less than or equal to negative 1 cannot be included. That's why this is an open circle. For our next one, we have x is less than or equal to 2. So I put my circle on 2, and since it's less than or equal to, that means 2 can be included in the solution set. So I want to shade that in. And since it's less than, that means anything that's less than 2 can also be included in our solution set. So we could have 2, 1, 0, and so on and so forth in our solution set. What about this one? X is less than 3. Our circle is going to go on 3, and since it's less than, 3 is not included in our solution set, so it stays as an open circle, and we shade everything to the left, all of the numbers that are less than 3. So our solution set could include 2, 1, 0, and so forth. So as a review, less than is an open circle shaded to the left, less than or equal to is a shaded circle shaded to the left, greater than is an open circle shaded to the right, and greater than or equal to is shaded in and shaded to the right.